Hi everybody, my name is Becca and I'm from cohort uh, 17 at Yobel at SMU and I'm going to be telling you how to place a K after in DVDK. Chris is going to be showing us how on the computer. So a K actor is an object with physics behavior. There are lots of types of K actors in UDK, but we're going to show you how to use rigid bodies, which are probably the most common type of physics objects used in UDK. So first off, we've got to find what static mesh we want to use. So let's open up the content browser, and we're going to use the simple crate. You're going to select your static mesh, and then right click in the scene, and uh, you're going to select the option Add Rigid Body Static Mesh. So already we've added a K actor to the scene. If we were to play from here, you can see that there are already basic physics assigned to the object. You'll notice though that when we started the level, the crate was just floating there in midair. And there are a lot of properties that you can change in the object to make it a bit more realistic. So let's try modifying our K actor. First we're going to duplicate the crate so that you can see the differences between uh, the regular one and then the one we will add adjustments to. So first to access the properties for our K actor, you can either hit F4 or you can right click the static mesh and go to K actor properties. We've got a lot of properties we can alter, but we're going to just go through the ones that we'll probably be using the most. You'll notice Wake on Level Start. This determines whether or not the K actor will begin its physics calculations at the beginning of play. So if we check it and then play our level, physics have already started. The box falls out of the air. The other one remains in the air. Now back in the properties, you'll see Damage Applies Impulse. This allows the K actor to react to damage taken from weapons. So if it's not checked, the object will not respond to gunfire of any kind. No reaction. But if we shoot the other crate, you see that it starts to move a little bit. And back in the properties again, you'll see Limit Max Physics Velocity. This sets a maximum velocity at which the K actor can move. And then there's Stay Upright Spring. This determines how hard the object tries to stay upright. So if we assign that to the crate, and we play, you can see that the one without Stay Upright Spring sort of moves around whenever you hit it. But if we shoot the one with Stay up Upright Spring, it's as if there is a weight inside the crate. It just makes it a little bit more realistic. Now at any time, you can convert a static mesh to a K actor or vice versa. So if you want to ch change your K actor back into a static mesh, all you have to do is right click it and choose Convert, and then Convert to your desired object type. So that's how you place a K actor in UDK. It's very easy. Thanks for watching.